I've got something that will make you perk up a little bit. Yes. A cooking segment oh, with Heather. Oh, that means we eat. Yeah, we do. She's done some great things in the past with cranberries, eggs, and skewers. Wonder what she'll have for us this morning. Let's see what Heather has on the menu. Well, today I'm making white chocolate mini cheesecakes. I love these cheesecakes because they are so cute. You bake them right here in individual mason jars. They look great on a table. They're great for a hostess gift. And of course, they're really easy to transport. So full disclosure, I am not a baker. So if I can bake these, anybody can do it. It's super simple. So you start with a little mason jar like this. Your base are chocolate graham crackers. You could use reg regular graham crackers as well. And this is just melted with a couple tablespoons of butter and a couple tablespoons of sugar. And I'm gonna go ahead and just gently pack that down. Your second layer is jam. I got raspberry jam, but you could use any kind of jam or jelly you want. You could do strawberry, grape, apple. I just like raspberry and white chocolate together. So just about a tablespoon of your jam. And then this is the real easy part. For your cream cheese filling, all you need are one and a half bricks of cream cheese, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of sour cream, which gives the um, cheesecake kind of that light, fluffy feel to it. Two eggs with a tablespoon of vanilla. And then the piece de resistance three ounces of white chocolate melted into a fourth a cup of heavy cream. And that is it. It is real, real simple. So then just get your beater and you wanna mix this for a few minutes. So you wanna whip this until it's nice and smooth. And you'll see the consistency start to whip up and take shape. Um, with the sour cream and the cream cheese, it starts to kind of form a peak, and you'll see what I mean. And I love this recipe because it's kind of um, a cross between a no-bake and a bake uh, cheesecake. So it's a little dense and fluffy. You'll just have to try it to believe me. Once you've got that whipped up, it's going to get a little spatula and you're gonna fill your mason jar, not all the way to the top. You wanna leave a little room for this to rise. So just about that. If you get stuff on the side, that's okay. Just wipe it off with a little towel. And then you're gonna put them in a roasting pan, just like this. So we fill the water halfway up in our roasting pan, and what this does is it helps all the cheesecake cook evenly. Now, I have my oven preheating at 375. Obviously, I've already gone ahead and pre-cooked all 11 of these. I just wanted to show you how to do this. You're gonna cook these for 25 minutes. What you wanna do is make sure you keep an eye on these. Um, you're looking for this sort of golden brown crust where they rise. They're a little waxy and sort of matted looking. Do not take them out. At this point, what you wanna do is shut your oven off you're gonna open the door halfway and just let everything cool for the next half an hour. The problem is if you take them out too early, they're gonna collapse on you and you absolutely don't want that. So once they're nice and cool, the best part about these little mini cheesecakes is this little topping here and you can get creative on these. So what I've done, I've taken some fresh cranberries and a sprig of rosemary. Let me show you how I did this. I think these are neat for the winter time because they kind of look like they're snow covered, right? So you just take a sprig of rosemary and I'm going to dip it in some sugar water. This is just water dissolved with some sugar. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in some confectionery sugar or granulated sugar rather, either one and then just put it on a paper towel like this to dry and do the same thing with the cranberries. You don't have to use cranberries. You can use any kind of fruit, raspberries, blueberries. You can really get creative on this and I think it just adds such a nice touch, okay? So you can do these ahead of time. If you wanna do these the day before, that's great and just let them kind of sit overnight. Um, if you don't have all that time, you can do it an hour before but these took me no time at all, you see? 
So they end up just kind of looking like this. So I just garnish them and they're absolutely adorable. You can see all the layers. You can see our cookie crust, you can see our jam, you can see our cream cheese filling and then our really pretty garnish. I like to kind of put a ribbon around this as a hostess gift. And if you save the tops, you can kind of put that right back on and travel with it. It makes a nice gift, a nice addition to any holiday table. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do. Heather McWilliams for Boomer TV. Bon Appetit.